Hi and a very good evening to all of you. I am Gulab Sai, your mentor for Finance Current Affairs, and I welcome you once again to another special session whereby today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic that is the rebound in the credit growth. Now, during the pandemic, you all must have heard that RBI has been infusing liquidity because there was no demand at all. No demand for loan, no demand for any of the consumption goods or for even for the investment purpose. But recently, as we have seen or we all have read in multiple newspapers day in, day out, that the credit growth of bank has been robust over the few months. So what are the reasons that we are seeing a growth in the credit that banks are providing to the people, people like we, like us, those who need funds for consumption purposes or for industries, the, those who need funds in order to promote or in order to increase the capacity utilization so that more production can be done in the economy. So all of these we are going to study today and we are also going to talk about is this credit growth that we are seeing in in terms of loans that are being provided by the bank are sustainable or not because as we have seen that in order to reduce inflation that our economy is facing the MPC or the RBI has been continuously increasing the repo rate. So all of these dynamics will be studied in today's very video but before that if you have still not downloaded the app you can do so by going on to the Google Play Store. So let's get started. So we are going to talk about what explains the rebound in credit growth. So this specific or this particular news article was there in the Mint newspaper where you can see that they are trying to talk about the dispersal, the rebound or the upsurge in the credit offtake by the banks. So what are the numbers? Let's first talk about the numbers. So we talk about the numbers. It says that according to the data that RBI has presented, the bank credit has grew by 17.1% in October 2022. It's a huge number. So as you know that because of the increasing in the money supply in the economy, the RBI has been increasing the repo rate. Repo rate badhaya ja raha tha so that money supply ko hum control kar sake and as a result inflation could be controlled. But while this scenario was happening, what we can see on the opposite side is that bank is trying, bank is providing credit. That is, people are coming to bank to take loan. And if the bank provides these loans to the people, this money will come into circulation, adding up to the liquidity, adding up to the entire money supply in the economy. So this is the number, 17.1% is the growth rate that can be seen in the bank credit or the credit that has been provided by the bank. Now this growth in the loans provided by the bank are very diverse. Diverse in the sense that whatever loan is provided is across multiple sectors. It's not only that the growth uh, the growth in the credit provided by the bank is in just one sector, specifically let's say agriculture of the services but this growth could be seen across diverse sectors specifically if we talk about the agricultural and the allied activity sector we can see a growth of around 13.1 13.4 percent so around 13 percent is the robust growth that we can see in the agriculture and the allied activities now this is a very good growth if we talk about agriculture sector specifically now the next sector is the industrial sector. If we talk about industrial sector, now if you are following the news, then you must be aware that before the pandemic or even during the pandemic, the industrial sector recorded a contraction. So there was a contraction in the growth. They had a negative growth. The industrial sector faced a negative growth, but now during this few months, we are seeing that the credit growth to the industry has been accelerating to 12.6% in September. So around 13% is the growth that we can see in the industrial sector. Now this sector is very important. So details about this sector will be studying in the next slide. Apart from that, if we talk about specifically the components of the industrial sector, that you can see that the large industries, 
specifically the core industries, the eight core industries that we have that provides the input so that goods and services could be produced in the economy and which can boost growth into the economy. There also we have seen an increase in around 8% and specifically the MSME, the MSME, the micro and the small and medium enterprises, these have also registered a growth of around 27.1% as compared to 13.1% last year. ठीक है तो हम देख सकते हैं कि इंडस्ट्री में भी काफी ग्रोथ दिखने को मिली है इवन द एमएसएमई सेक्टर तो एज यू ऑल नो ड्यूरिंग द पेंडेमिक आरबीआई ने बहुत कोशिश करी थी इन ऑर्डर टू रिवाइव दिस एमएसएमईज सो दैट दे कुड प्रोवाइड लोन नाउ वी कैन सी और व्हाट वी कैन सी इज दैट द एमएसएमई सेक्टर्स हैव आल्सो टेकन लोन अगर इन्होंने लोन लिया है दे विल बी यूटिलाइजिंग दिस मनी इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोड्यूस मोर गुड्स और इन ऑर्डर टू इंक्रीज द कैपेसिटी यूटिलाइजेशन तो यहां पे इनका हमने देख लिया नाउ कम्स दी सर्विसेज सेक्टर सर्विसेज एज वेल एज रिटेल सेक्टर में हम क्या देख सकते हैं वी कैन सी हियर दैट देयर इज अ रोबस्ट इंक्रीज इन केस ऑफ सर्विसेज सेक्टर एज वेल पेंडेमिक के टाइम पे क्या हुआ था ड्यूरिंग दी पेंडेमिक पीपल वेर नॉट डिमांडिंग एट ऑल पीपल वेर डूइंग डिस्ट्रेस बोरोइंग इफ दे वेर बोरोइंग दे वेर बोरोइंग स्पेसिफिकली टू इन्वेस्ट इन गोल्ड सेफ एसेट्स में इन्वेस्टमेंट कर रहे थे Apart from that, during pandemic, contact intensive services की growth बिल्कुल contract कर गई थी Why? People were not going for any kind of tourism, travel, communication, etc., etc. But because of the because that we are in 2022, the pandemic effects has been reduced, and because of that, we are seeing an increase. in the demand for contact intensive services services such as travel tourism communication and because of that they have resulted in an increase in demand for credit specifically for the services sector and what is the increase the increase is around 20% it was just around 1% last year but now we can see 20% is the increase in the in the services sector that are demanding loan from banks अब दूसरी चीज ये भी आती है कि अभी फेस्टिव सीजन था सो बिकॉज ऑफ फेस्टिव सीजन डिमांड हैज बिन पुश्ड पीपल आर बोरोइंग मोर सो दैट दे कैन परचेज एनी काइंड ऑफ हाउस और वेहीकल्स सो देर हैज बिन एन इंक्रीज इन पर्सनल लोन एज वेल दैट इज अराउंड नाइनटीन पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट रीजन आई होप आपको समझ आ गए वाई वी आर सींग एन इंक्रीज in the credit that has been dispersed by the banks why is there a credit offtake for the simple reason that there are increasing demand for contact intensive services festive season tha jiske wajah se services sector mein growth dekhne ki mili hai and people are demanding in order to fulfill their demands theek hai i hope this is clear to you now as i have talked let's talk about the industrial sector as we all know industry is the backbone of any country and growth is very if we see a growth in the industrial sector that means that more capacity utilization or there is more capacity that is being created or the previous or the existing capacity will be put to more use producing more goods and services producing employment for the people and all of these will add up together to help in making the in making india or making the country more robust in terms of manufacturing and this will add to the growth story of our country so now as i have talked about industry mein bhi growth dekhne ko mili hai and this growth is around 12.6% around 13% ki growth hai if we talk about लास्ट ईयर लास्ट ईयर में इंडस्ट्रीज आउटपुट कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड हैविली मतलब मंथ ऑन मंथ बहुत ज्यादा कॉन्ट्रैक्शन दिखने को मिल रही थी एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट स्पेसिफिक पीरियड फॉर एग्जांपल ड्यूरिंग द पेंडेमिक अप्रैल जून की बात करें एट दैट टाइम द सेक्टर्स आउटपुट डिप्ड बाय ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट सिक्स अराउंड ट्वेंटी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन दिखने को मिली थी हमारी इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर में Now what you all must be thinking is what could be the reason behind it? क्या reason हो सकता है जिसकी वजह से हमें contraction दिखने को मिले थे It was because the industrial sector were in a period of deleveraging. So this is the term that is associated here deleveraging. Deleveraging का क्या मतलब होता है या leverage का क्या मतलब होता है 
लेवरेज का मतलब होता है दैट द कंपनीज आर टेकिंग अप मोर लोन्स बीट फ्रॉम द बैंक्स बीट फ्रॉम एनी अदर एनबीएफसी सो दे हैव मोर लोन्स इनटू देयर बैलेंस शीट उनकी जो बैलेंस शीट है इट हैज मोर ऑफ लोन्स डीलेवरेजिंग का क्या मतलब होता है डीलेवरेजिंग इज द प्रोसेस वेयर बाय द कॉर्पोरेट्स और द कंपनी ट्राई टू रिड्यूस देयर लोन that they have taken from several financial institutions to unki jo loan unhone liya hai be it from any any financial institution usko agar kam karne ki koshish karoge because when you take loan you are also providing or you are also paying interest on those loans right so usko kam karne ko kehte hain deleveraging so why are this industries were doing deleveraging during the period of pandemic so, jab pandemic chal rahi thi इन्होंने डीलेवरेजिंग करने की कोशिश करी वाई सिंपल रीजन ड्यूरिंग पैंडमिक द एम पी सी एज वेल एज दर बी आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू अट्रैक्ट पीपल और एनकरेज पीपल टू टेक अप लोन सो दैट दे कैन डिमांड राइट ड्यूरिंग टाइम्स ड्यूरिंग द पेंडेमिक द इंटरेस्ट रेट्स वेर कैप्ट वेरी लो इंटरेस्ट रेट्स काफी लो थे इट वॉज वेरी लो RBI was trying to infuse liquidity into the market so that people can make use of those money. Simple. Now during these times, you must all think that, yar, when interest rate was low, then people or industries should have borrowed so that whatever their capacity utilization for the resources needed, they could have bought it. Which was seen in the case of US and other developed countries. so in other developed countries during the pandemic since the interest rates were very low it was almost negligible industries kept on getting more loans from the banks because they had to pay a very lower rate of interest then but what did indian industries do or the indian corporates do at that time during the pandemic the indian industries tried to take loan from the bond market जहां पे उनको बहुत ही कम इंटरेस्ट पे पैसे मिल रहे थे नाउ यूजिंग दोज मनी दे ट्राई टू रीपे द लोन दैट वेर दैट दे हैड टेकन अर्लियर फ्रॉम द बैंक तो हाई इंटरेस्ट रेट लोन जो उन्होंने पहले लिए हुए थे बिफोर द पेंडेमिक दे ट्राई टू रीपे ऑल ऑफ दीज लोन क्योंकि इस पे हाई इंटरेस्ट रेट था सो दे थॉट इंस्टेड ऑफ putting those money to production or to make use of the capacity that we are having let's repay off the loan now this held in two things first they were now not required to pay any interest on the loans that they have taken because they have repaid the loan unki jo balance sheet thi jo corporates ya industries ki balance sheet thi wahan se wo loan segment hat gaya secondly since they were repaying the banks banks ko agar wo repay kar rahe the ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम बैंक्स का जो एनपीए था जो वो काफी टाइम से इंडस्ट्रीज पे नहीं कर रही थी वो कम होने लगी एंड दैट हेल्प इन एड्रेसिंग द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ट्विन डेफिशिट ट्विन बैलेंस शीट सॉरी सो ट्विन बैलेंस शीट की जो प्रॉब्लम है वेर बाय द बैंक हैव मोर एनपीए ऑन दियर बैलेंस शीट एंड इंडस्ट्रीज और द कॉर्पोरेट आर हाईली लीवर्ड हाईली लीवर्ड मतलब बहुत ज्यादा लोन लिया हुआ था इन्होंने उस प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करने में हेल्प हुई ड्यूरिंग द पेंडेमिक बिकॉज ऑफ द लो इंटरेस्ट रेट्स दैट द आरबीआई वाज प्रोवाइडिंग इन ऑर्डर टू इंफ्यूज लिक्विडिटी इनटू द मार्केट एंड दिस प्रोसेस इज नॉन एज द पीरियड ऑफ डीलेवरेजिंग नाउ सिंस दिस डीलेवरेजिंग हैज फिनिश सिंस द इंडस्ट्रीज हैव पेड मोस्ट ऑफ देयर लोन्स नाउ हैज कम द टाइम टू टेक लोन फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ putting that money into production into making utilize making utilization of the capacity that they are having and that's the reason why that we are seeing a robust or an accelerated growth into the industrial sector 13% around growth dikhne ko mil rahi hai 13% zyada loan le rahi hai industries from the bank so that they can make use of this specifically for the capacity utilize यूटिलाइजेशन दट दे आर है आई होप ये आपको समझ आ गया इसके अलावा एक रीजन मैंने आपको बता दिया कि पेंडेमिक में इंटरेस्ट रेट्स काफी कम थी सो दिस पॉइंट हैज बिन डन विथ द सेकेंड पॉइंट वॉज एसेट क्वालिटी रिव्यू ड्यूरिंग दोज टाइम आर बी आई ऑल्सो केम टू नो दैट द बैंक वेर हैविंग अ लॉट्स ऑफ एन पी एस एंड देर 
अंडर रिपोर्टिंग देयर एनपीएस कई बार क्या करती है बैंक्स अपने एनपीएस को बहुत कम शो करती है सो दैट नो स्ट्रिंजेंट एक्शन कुड बी टेकन अगेंस्ट देम सो आरबीआई वाज ट्राइंग टू बी मोर प्रूडेंट सो मोर स्ट्रिंजेंट लॉज वेर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड और एक उन्हीं में से था एसेट क्वालिटी रिव्यू वेयर बाय आर बी आई ऑन अ रैंडम बेसिस कैन गो रैंडमली सेलेक्ट अ बैंक एंड चेक इट्स बैलेंस शीट और इट्स फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट तो उनकी जो फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट थी उसको चेक कर सकती है बैंक एंड दिस विल बी डन ऑन अ रैंडम बेसिस ये नहीं कि ईयरली होगा सो दैट यू गेट द टाइम फ्रेम टू सर्च एनी काइंड ऑफ लूप होल बट ऐसा नहीं होगा यहाँ पे क्या होगा बैंक आर बी आई विल गो ऑन अ रैंडम इंस्पेक्शन of your financial statements. So because of these और काफी प्रेशर था कि एन पी ए कम करना है एन पी ए कम करना है ऑल ऑफ दीज हेल्प और एक्सिलेटेड इन इंडस्ट्रीज मेकिंग रीपेमेंट ऑफ देयर लोन्स सो आई होप दिस टू फैक्टर्स आर अंडरस्टूड बाई यू वेल आपको समझ आ गया कि इंडस्ट्री में अभी ग्रोथ क्यों देखने को मिल रही है बिकॉज पेंडेमिक के टाइम पे इन्होंने डी लेवरेजिंग करा जिसके थ्रू उन्होंने जितने भी उनके लोन्स थे मोस्ट ऑफ देम वे रीपेड बाई देम एंड नाउ सिंस दे हैव रीपेड मोस्ट ऑफ देयर लोन्स दे आर नाउ टेकिंग और वट वी कैन सी इज अ क्रेडिट और एन इंक्रीज इन क्रेडिट ऑफ टेक बिकॉज दिस मनी विल नाउ बी यूज टू पुट इन टू प्रोडक्शन पर्पसेज सिंपल नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड And talk about uh, what does the trend indicates the growth जो हमने देखा है वो क्या इंडिकेट करता है सिंपल द ग्रोथ टॉक्स अबाउट दैट इफ वी आर सींग एनी ग्रोथ इन क्रेडिट दैट मीन्स पीपल वील बी मेकिंग यूज ऑफ दैट एग्रीगेट डिमांड बढ़ रही है आपकी एंड बिकॉज ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग डिमांड बिकॉज ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग डिमांड फॉर लोन्स फॉर एनी सेक्टर दिस विल एड अप टू द ग्रोथ स्टोरी इंडिया की ग्रोथ बढ़ेगी राइट वी आर ऑल्सो सींग अ ग्रोथ इन इंजीनियरिंग मेटल ऑल ऑफ दीज प्रोडक्ट विच आर दैक बोन ऑफ एनी इंडस्ट्री राइट बैक बोन है बिकॉज दिस प्रोड्यूस दिस इज द मेन इनपुट दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर मेकिंग अप और फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू पॉजिटिवली इम्पैक्ट द इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ ऑफ आर कंट्री सिंपल अब वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम दैट वी आर फेसिंग The problem is that since there has been an increase in the credit growth, we are not seeing a simultaneous increase in the deposit. अगर बैंक के पास कोई लोन लेने आता है तो बैंक लोन कैसे देगी वॉट एवर डिपोजिट इट रिसीव जो भी डिपोजिट वो रिसीव करेगा फ्रॉम दैट मनी ओनली बैंक इज गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड द लोन बट वॉट वी आर सींग इज दैट द क्रेडिट ग्रोथ हैज आउट स्पेज मतलब क्रेडिट ग्रोथ ज्यादा है एज कंपेयर टू योर डिपोजिट ग्रोथ एंड एस अ रिजल्ट द क्रेडिट डिपोजिट रेशियो सी डी आर हैज बीन ऑन अ राइज सी डी आर जो आपकी है वो राइज पे है बिकॉज क्रेडिट हैज बीन इंक्रीजिंग बट डिपोजिट has is not been able to match the growth level that can be seen in the credit simple ab credit deposit ratio kya hota hai sabse pehle usko samajhte hain but before that let's look at this graph what does this graph talks about very simple it talks about credit growth in industries whereby we have seen that during the pandemic there was a decline in the credit growth but over the years now we can see an increase or increase or increase in the credit offtake people are demanding more loans festive seasons le lo agriculture contact increase in use of contact intensive services theek hai home loans personal loans all of these has resulted in an increase in credit growth now let's move forward and talk about क्रेडिट डिपॉजिट रेशियो बट बिफोर दैट अब आपके मन में क्वेश्चन आ रहा होगा द क्वेश्चन इज वाई देर इज अ राइज इन क्रेडिट डिपॉजिट रेशियो डिस्पाइट अ राइज इन कॉस्ट ऑफ बोरोइंग अब ये बहुत लोगों के दिमाग में आ रहा होगा आरबीआई तो रेपो रेट इंक्रीज कर रही है अगर रेपो रेट इंक्रीज हो रहा है दैट मीन्स द रेट ऑफ बोरोइंग विल बी कॉस्टली राइट बैंक विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग दीज लोन एट अ हायर रेट then why are we seeing an increase in credit growth fir hum increase kyun dekh rahe hain if loans are costly why are people still demanding the loans now there is a very beautiful concept that is marginal efficiency of capital it says that one should not or people should not 
uh, worry or be deterrent till the time your marginal efficiency of capital is high. What is this marginal efficiency of capital? The marginal efficiency of capital is the expected return that you are expecting from the capital investment or the capital asset that you have taken. So the, whatever investment you have made in the capital asset, out of that, what is the return that you are getting? Suppose you are getting a return of 15%. 15% aapko return mil rahi hai or the marginal efficiency of capital. So you have taken a loan from bank and you have invested into certain kind of machinery. That machinery will result in a 15% in return to you. Aapko 15% return milega us machinery se. And the loan that you have taken is, for example, let's say, 7% pe aapne wo loan liya hai. So this, what is the figure now? The figure is 8%. So if the marginal efficiency of capital is high, then you can consider taking loan at a higher rate. Agar ye 6% hota, aapka marginal efficiency 9% ho jati. So you will be very much attracted because aap abhi bhi loss mein nahi ho. Your marginal efficiency of capital is quite high. Simple, right? So, ये चीजें हमें consider करनी पड़ती है whenever, whenever we talk about taking loans. So, what here is written is that because interest rates are on a rise, cost of production is bound to increase क्योंकि inputs, input cost high होगी. But this will lead to cost push inflation. But one should not worry because if the marginal, capital, marginal efficiency of capital is high, then you can make for it through this MEC. And what we can see is that we are seeing an increase in credit support despite RBI's tight monetary policy. RBI has repo rate ko 1.9% increase kiya hai since April. And the current repo rate is around 5.9%, is around 6%. So what can banks do? So banks, what they can do is they can increase the deposit. Jitana zada wo deposit increase karegi, they will be in a better position to make for, to make for the demand that they are getting in the credit sector. So credit demand ko wo fulfill kar paayenge, right? And this is the reason why banks on a regular basis has been increasing the interest rate on their deposits. Jo bhi deposits aapne padha hooga, suna bhi hooga ki term deposit le lo because we are getting a higher rate of interest now. And since RBI has been hiking the repo rate, the banks, for example, SBI has hiked its marginal cost of funds based lending rate to 7.9%. So last year it was around 6.95%. Now it has been hiked to 7.95%. So around 8% is the interest that a person will be getting for a one-year fixed deposit with SBI. So this is the reason why uh, the banks are also increasing the rate on the deposits so that they can attract more people to, to make deposits or to keep their money into deposits with bank so that the banks can utilize this money to make for the credit that we can see. And as we all know, credit is the backbone of any economy. If no credit, lenge, that means they are demanding money for uh, demanding money so that uh, demanding money and this demand and money will result. Why, why are demanding money? Demanding money so that they can purchase more of goods and services that will result in increasing the economic growth. Agar zyada demand hoga goods and services ki zyada production hogi. And because of that, the growth of the economy will increase. So credit agar grow kar rahi hai, it's a very good thing. And in order to provide for all this credit, what banks can do? Banks will have to attract more depositors so that they can deposit more money with the bank. Simple. Ab MCLR kya hota hai? I hope you all know. If you don't, then it is the benchmark rate. It is the minimum rate beyond which no bank can lend to any customer. The minimum rate of interest hai that a bank is required to charge if it is lending to any of its customers. Moving forward and talking about the credit deposit ratio. We are saying that the credit deposit ratio has been increasing. What is this credit deposit ratio? Credit deposit, very simple, credit divided by your deposits. Now, whatever deposits that a bank gets, out of that, 
सर्टन मनी इज टू बी कैप्ट एज रिजर्व रिजर्व रिक्वायरमेंट मीट करनी है दैट इज अराउंड ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट वॉट एवर मनी दैट इज लेफ्ट अराउंड सेवेंटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव जो भी बचेगा उसको आप क्रेडिट के फॉर्म में दे सकते हो राइट एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट इंडिकेशन ऑफ द हेल्थ ऑफ द बैंक द हाई अगर सो नीदर टू हाई क्रेडिट डिपोजिट रेशियो नॉट टू लो क्रेडिट डिपोजिट रेशियो इज कंसिडर्ड गुड एंड आइडियल रेशियो वुड बी अराउंड एटी परसेंट एटी परसेंट आइडियल रेशियो माना जाता है क्रेडिट डिपोजिट रेशियो का तो सेवेंटी टू एट्टी और एटी टू नाइनटी परसेंट माना जाता है एंड सपोज इफ योर क्रेडिट डिपॉजिट रेशियो इज बिलो एटी अगर ये सिक्सटी परसेंट है दैट मीन्स बैंक आर नॉट इन अ पोजिशन टू फुल्ली यूटिलाइज द रिसोर्सेज दैट दे हैव 60% है that means you are not making full use of your resources. You are not giving more loans to the people. अगर आप loans ज़्यादा नहीं दोगे, economy में growth नहीं दिखने को मिलेगी. And if you are giving too much loans, अगर आपका credit ratio, credit deposit ratio 80% है, that means you are making use of your capital. अगर आप 80% credit दे रहे हो, that means you are in a pressure situation because there will be a pressure on the resources that you are giving on ab aapke paas 100 rupees aaya 23% 23 rupees aapka reserve requirement mein chali gayi right what what is left with you 77% is left with you aur aap 80% agar credit de rahe ho that means 3% is either by drawing down on your reserves or secondly it could be that you would be making use of your capital and there can be instances that you, there will be certain kind of capital adequacy issues with your bank kyunki kuch minimum capital hame maintain karna padta hai agar uske excess mein kuch hai if you are using that for providing credit then it's okay but if you are making use of your capital uh, the capital is required to be kept under the capital adequacy ratio that means it is a pressure on the resources that you are having right and credit deposit ratio also talks about how well a bank is attracting and retaining customers kitne customers unke paas aa rahe hain if your deposit rate is high that means more people are attracted more customers are attracted to deposit money with your bank so therefore it is said that it is the first indication of the health of the bank अगर ज्यादा लोग नहीं आ रहे हैं दैट मीन्स द इन्वेस्टर्स और द बैंक आर नॉट इन अ प्रॉपर पोजीशन टू मैनेज वॉट एवर फंड दैट दे आर गेटिंग अगर वो कम क्रेडिट दे रहे हैं दैट मीन्स दे आर नॉट मेकिंग फुल यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द रिसोर्सिस ऑफ द डिपोजिट दैट दे आर गेटिंग आई होप क्रेडिट डिपोजिट रेशियो आपको समझ आ गया होगा वेरी सिंपल कुछ नहीं है राइट सिंपल नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड and talk about the sustainability of the credit growth now we talked about first numbers ki hame credit growth dikhne ko mil rahi hai across diverse sectors the reason behind the increase in credit growth kyun increase hua wo bhi humne dekh liya for different sectors now comes is this credit growth sustainable kya jo hum credit dekh rahe hain ye sustainable hai kyunki agar banks credit degi that will result in more money supply in the economy and what is rbi doing rbi is trying to reduce the money supply and why how why it is doing so so that inflation could be controlled right and a very good news for all of us is that inflation for the month of october is around 6 person 6 point something and maybe we will be able to reach the 2.6% a uh, level of inflation soon so let's see here now this talks about the sequence so during pandemic the rbi tried to infuse liquidity into the market and at the end of 2021 rbi whatever liquidity it has infused through several monetary policy tools had now tried to withdraw those liquidity theek hai just so rbi started absorbing or withdrawing all the liquidity that it had infused during the pandemic time ab isse kya hua jab wo infuse jab wo jo money jo money supply that rbi has infused into the economy when it tried to withdraw that happened at a very faster rate for example if we talk about numbers 
But 2021 in November May, since RBI was infusing liquidity so that the after effects of the pandemic could be dealt with properly, there was a surplus of 8 lakh crores. But now, if we talk about a year later, September 2022 ki data baat kare, then we have a deficit of around 21,000. 873. 8 lakhs crore, 20,000 crores, right? So there is a vast difference and the surplus that we are we were having has gone into a deficit. Now what one question that would be coming to your mind would be who decides or what decides surplus or deficit into the market? मतलब liquidity में surplus, banking liquidity जो होती है उसमें surplus deficit कौन बताता है? Now, this banking liquidity surplus or deficit is determined by the liquidity adjustment facility. LAF corridor, aap, aap suna hoga, which has a floor and a ceiling, right? So, we have SDF, standing deposit facility, and we have MSF, marginal standing facility. Or peach mein hota hai hamara repo rate. Now, if banks have excess money, then they can park their excess money, excess money with RBI at which rate? At SDF rate. And if banks do not have money, banks ke paas paisa nahi hai, then they can ask money from RBI overnight settlement ke liye, and that money would be provided at MSF. So MSF pay bank loan loan le hai RBI se or SDF pay banks. Park on their excess money. Now, if you are parked here, then your liquidity will come here. Here, uh, banking system. The banking system is the net depositor. Okay? Or we can say that RBI is borrower in case of SDF. And in case of MSF, the banking system is the net depositor. Borrower. So, borrower kon hai MSF ki case mein? Banking system. So, what is deficit? Deficit is a case where the entire banking system on any day is a net borrower to the RBI. Jab jis bhi din agar banks net borrower ban jati hai, then we say that the banking liquidity has gone into a deficit. And what are the reasons for this deficit? So, there are several reasons which we have already talked in one of our generic video on banking liquidity and I have mentioned it out here. The first is obviously the RBI's intervention in order to support the depreciation of the rupee whereby RBI was selling dollars and purchasing rupee from the banking system. The second was improvement in the demand for bank credit. Bank credit ki demand zada ho rahi thi. Third is advanced tax payments by the corporates. So there was an outflow because all of the advanced payments that banks had received, all of those had to be given to the government. And finally was the incremental deposit growth. We, we did not see an incremental deposit growth as compared to the credit growth. Simple. So this reason is why we are seeing a deficit into our economy. The next comes... Uh, the next comes the dynamics. What, is the, what are the dynamics? Now, in order to control inflation, the repo rate will be increased or it will be higher so that uh, inflation could be controlled. If repo rate is higher, the cost of credit will also be higher, right? The cost, hoga, cost of borrowing, the rate at which you will be providing loans will be higher. This will, this will make the upsurge in credit suffer. So, our credit hai, that will be suffering because of increasing repo rate. So, how is RBI going to deal with it? That we need to see and we need to find out. And the second is that agar, our, agar banks ko is credit ko uh, maintain karna hai, bank wants to maintain the sustainability of the credit that we are seeing, with what, what we are seeing, then what banks can do? Banks can either increase the deposits. Banks needs to have more deposits. Banks needs to attract more depositors so that banks can utilize those deposits in order to make for the credit that they are receiving, that they need to make. And second is that if they are not having more credit, then they need to access finance through issue of various instruments. So, unko RBI se paise lene pad sakte hain, interbank money market se lene pad sakte hain, and they may even be required to issue any kind of 
certificate of deposit so that they can make for this bank credit and what else they can do they can also have to raise more capital so that they can draw on their capital in order to provide for the credit uh, or in order to make for the credit offtake that we are seeing ab kuch capital banks maintain karti hain as capital buffers in order to meet the capital adequacy ratio usko wo utilize nahi kar sakta now they need to make or they need to raise more capital and this is also evident from the fact that many of the public sector banks have uh, raised have, are, or are thinking to raise more capital in order to fund their loan growth so this is also evident geek uh, economic science mein aaya tha news article right so what this is the dynamics that we can see and we need to think and decide and there's a question for all of you guys what would rbi or the monetary policy committee do about the growth that we are seeing in the credit sector the credit growth that we are seeing and how banks are going to respond to it how rbi is going to see to it and what is so lots of things are happening and all of these things are posing a challenge to the sustainability of the credit growth credit growth ki sustainability pe baat aa gayi because we are seeing an off tick or an upsurge in credit growth at the same time we are we are also facing the problem of high inflation and because of that we are also facing an increase in repo rate which are making these loans more costly and despite that there has not been a much increase in the deposits that banks are receiving so all of these dynamics are making the situation very much challenging for the banks uh, in order to make for the credit growth or the loans that people are demanding and we all what we all can do is to wait and watch what mpc or the rbi governor has a take or what is going to what he is going to say on the growth that we are seeing in the credit sector so this was all that i wanted to discuss with you in case if you want to add on certain points you are always welcome to do so in the comment section now this slide talks about certain definitions which i have already talked about and this is for your perusal in case if you need a more clear understanding and keep learning if you have any comments any question you can write it down in the comment section till then take care and bye bye